Hello, I'm Mark Roberts. I'm with Paradise Lost Orienteers on the Gold Coast. I draw maps. I draw lots of maps. Here is my website. Here are the um, maps I made for the Sprint Knolls at Easter. I publish books containing my maps. I've sold 12,000 of this book, uh, 8,000 of this book. Uh, here's another one. And we've sold, I think, 13,000 of this one. It's extraordinary. Here's a map I've been working on. It's just across the road from where I live. It's called Shelter Road. Um, and this strange thing over here is a mangrove boardwalk. Uh, and here is the, um, the dog pound, which is why it's called uh, Shelter Road. I'm going to show you how to export map data from here into the Sketch app on my phone and then to make notes in the field and then to bring them back in. So we'll go to Data Exchange. It asks this question for no particular reason. We'll create a new project. We'll give it this name. Now we'll export data to the app. We'll choose the entire map. We will choose to have LiDAR as well. I'll show you why later. We chose medium resolution. And now we'll do the press the go button. This takes a little while. Uh, it's exporting all of this information about this map into a uh, directory on my PC. And it's finished. There are a number of ways of getting the data from my PC into my phone. Uh, but uh, I prefer to just plug the phone in using a USB cable. And here we go. And there is the data sitting in the folder on the PC. Here is my PC. It's already got something in it from when I was trying earlier. I'll get rid of that. And I'll transfer this across. Okay, so that's the first phase complete. And here we are in the bush. This is what I call my propeller hat. It has on it a $400 GPS antenna. I, underneath it is a tin can lid to prevent reflections from below going up through my skull and into it. It's connected via a waveguide to this RDU Simple GPS receiver. Uh, all this is described on my website. If you go to markroberts.id.au and uh, search for GPS, uh, there's a nine page uh, description of this. And here is a battery pack to power this. So this is now receiving as many GPS satellites as there are available on various different systems. So I have OCAD Sketch installed on my Android phone. Okay, I have in my hand a rather beaten up second-hand $200 Android. It's too hard to use iPhone, so this is our, this is what we have to use. Um, in order to use it, um, we need to switch off Wi-Fi. So here we go. Uh, we'll go to flight mode. And that switches off everything. And then we switch on Bluetooth in order that we can talk to the GPS receiver. And that's on. Now we go to the, the package that talks Bluetooth to the receiver. And we switch it on. And it can see 22 satellites in three different constellations, which is giving us very, very good accuracy. So now we go to the OCAD Sketch app, we'll go to settings, and we'll make sure that we've got position precision being displayed so that we can see that we're getting a good reception. Log positions to file so that later on we can see where we've been. And show a log tail so that while I'm in the bush, I can see where I've, where I've been. And I've set the tail length to very long indeed. So now here we are, and um, let's have a look at this. Here is a rock solid GPS location. It's not moving, it's not jiggling, it's not wandering. That's what you get with high precision GPS. So I'm gonna erase these notes I made earlier so that we've got space to make new notes. I choose my color, I choose my line width, and let's say we've found a lake and we're sitting right on top of a tree stump and the bend in the road's not quite right and that's it that's OCAD sketch in the field now we're back in the office using OCAD to um, pull the, the information that we recorded on the phone across into OCAD 
There's a pause here, I'm not quite sure why. Import data from the application. We're, we've got the phone plugged in on the desk via a USB cable. And I'm going to go to the import folder. There it is. And uh, here are the files sitting in on the phone. And what we're interested in is the map and the position database. Now we get imported, and so we drag those across from the phone onto the PC. And we ask OCAD to get the importable files, and there they are. I'll select both of those, and we're going to assign a purple line for my position database. Now import it. Takes a little while. We close, and here are the marks I made. There's uh, the purple line is the position database. Um, uh, it's not terribly helpful to us. There's the lake I drew. There is the uh, <coughs> tree stump, and there's the adjustment in the road. And, and, and there's a change I made earlier while I was rehearsing. So uh, these are, are sketch elements. They're not part of the map. Um, and uh, what we want to do is uh, get rid of them all by addressing all of the things that they say. So manage sketch features. Here we are. And I go to the first one, which is a, a change I made in a previous um, uh, rehearsal. So let's go ahead and do that. Fix the... Uh, Fix the contour. And then I'll delete that sketch item. And now we move to the uh, uh, odd greeny looking thing. I don't want to use that for anything. Now we'll move to the lake. And I'll go and draw in the lake. That's done. And I'll delete the circle. And I'll delete the L. And now we go to the tree stump. Bingo. I'll delete the green cross. And we'll adjust the road. And we'll delete that. That's it. We've got rid of all of our... Um, oh, that's, that's actually a map element, which I'll delete. We've got rid of all of our display items our sketch items um, and our job is done. I didn't show you use of the LiDAR background map while we were in the field so let's do it here and now you can see there's the ditch that I put in and there's the knoll that I put in.